All right, everyone. Welcome back to the ultimate pumped up guy. This is part three on Jax's combos, the one that everyone always wants to see. All right, so um, real quick before I get into this, uh, of course, remember that all of these combos are transcribed on the uh, at the written guide at testyourmite.com. So just click on the link in here and that'll take you to that guide and you can see the written transcripts for all of these combos for you to practice on your own. Um, I also just want to uh, talk a little bit about my combo philosophy. Um, and I'm just going to read from the guide here. Uh, so just my philosophy on combos is to keep things as simple as possible. If I can eke out an extra 5% damage, but I drop the combo 50% of the time, I'd much rather just deal 5% less, but always hit that combo. So I'm all about consistency, all about reliability over flashiness, over, you know, max damage. Screw it. I want to be able to hit my combos. I'm an online warrior. You know, I'm, I mostly play online. So, you know, if there's a combo that I can hit 90% of the time offline, but can't hit online, I'm probably not going to use it. Luckily, most of Jax's stuff is usable online, uh, with a few small exceptions. Um, so, along those lines, I don't waste time or energy on combos that are character specific. Um, th this game is kind of weird in that a lot of combos will work on male characters, but won't work on female characters, and uh, vice versa. And so. For the most part, I just won't learn those gender specific combos. Um, I really don't think Jax has many. There, uh, there are a couple that are easier on male characters, but if you just change a few things, they work the same way on females. So I just use that version, which also works on male characters. So it really doesn't affect us too much. Um, let's see. And the only other thing is because of those stipulations, I, you know, most of your mid-screen damage is just going to come from kind of this rushdown uh, pressure. You know, really simple combos that just get your opponent to the corner where you can just rip them apart. Um, you know, you're also going to be getting a lot of uh, OTG damage and that kind of stuff. So it is very simple stuff with Jack's mid-screen with a few small exceptions, um, which we'll cover. All right. Um, the only other thing is, and we covered this in his section on um, his special moves, is comboing into his downward dash punch can be a little weird depending on what string you're using and again you just want to make the back forward two part of the string so it's forward two back forward two and then you press down well, i press down too early um just to you know practice doing your dash punch forward two back forward two and he does it um do that and then just put in the two right before the dash punch actually starts okay um and with some moves, like going from back three into it, you do want to press down immediately. It's just back three, back forward, two down. Um, and that's really, you just have to practice the timing. It's one, two, three, back forward, two, and then you press down at the last second. Okay. And, all right. Um... So first, let's go into his uh, best mid-screen combos. These are all, again, crazy simple. Um, it's just one, two, three, down, back, one. All right, that's a great punisher because that one is six frames. So if your opponent uses pretty much any attack that leaves them within that range, um, you can get that going. Even if they do somehow manage to block it, that down, back, two is only minus nine. Um, and it's just a quick, easy 23%. Um, you can also... For these enders and we'll, we'll we'll work on his combo enders a bit more in the general strategy section but you know these are these combos all end in the down back one for raw damage but you can and and like that in order to get them closer to the corner and continue your pressure because let's see that's this is 23 percent but it basically ends your pressure i mean you're plus three but from here I can even do a forward two, you know, which is 13 frames. So that really doesn't get you anything. But if I do one, two, three, that, that's 18. So you're only losing 5% damage. And um, and you get them way closer to the, the corner. And you really are at a much better advantage. All right. So just remember that all these combos, you can use whatever ender you want. They're all done for that gotcha grab. But feel free to use energy wave or overhead dash punch or whatever you want to do. Um, for spacing. We'll cover that in his general strategy section. Okay. Um, so your meterless combos are all going to be one, two, three, the one, two, three, ender, the forward two, one. Oh my God, I've got to reset my controller. 
All right, the forward two one ender, which again, you know, most damage is gonna be got you grab for twenty two percent or that for the continued pressure. Um, and finally, back three, back three down back one. Let's see, that's twenty percent. That's 22%. See, so yeah, I don't know why I don't have the back two combo listed. I'll have to fix that. Uh, but yeah, back two is a, a great combo starter. Um, and when you do it, you always want to cancel, or pretty much, unless you're trying to end the round, you always want to cancel into that um, overhead dash punch. Because that's the only safe way to do it. If they, uh, if they block the back two, then the overhead dash punch won't come out. You'll be minus eight. If it does come out, you do 17% and can uh, get your pressure started. Uh, the other thing is canceling from that back four. That we covered this in his normal section. The canceling of the overhead dash punch for back two is just back two, forward two, down. Um, there we go. He's got to work on the timing. Back two, forward two, down. Really simple. It just feels kind of wonky at first. Um, next, we'll go ahead and do his meterless corner combos, and then we'll start working on his metered combos. All right. So uh, Jax's corner game is really nasty. Uh, he's got some great stuff he can do. He just had to be careful because most of it is based on his overhead dash punch, which is unsafe. Um, but anyway, so from his overhead starter, it's back two, which makes it safe um, or relatively safe. You can do um, so. There's forty percent damage. You can do an extra one one. So you can do that, uh, but I do drop that every now and then online just based on the connection and you only get 1% more damage. So I just I forget that second 1-1. One, one. Look how high she is. I have all the time in the world to do my back 3-4 into thing for 40%. So it's just back 2, uh, forward 2 down, 1-1, one, one, back 3-4, got you grab. Super easy. Um, next is his low starter. This is his back 3-4. This is your most damaging combo. Um, and this one, again, you'd have to be careful because there's a gap between the back 3-4 and that's... It'll cancel into the overhead if you do it and if they block it, then you're kind of screwed. Luckily, it starts low and leads into the overhead, so it's mildly hard to block. Um, but basically, it's... Uh, let's see. Okay, so what you have to do is you kind of pick him up off the ground with that down one, two. If you do it too early, well, see if I can do it too early, you'll do an uppercut. All right, so, you know, give it some time. Let him fall quite a bit. You, have a, you actually have a lot of time to get that down one, two out. And then just one, 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 two, four. Down two, one, 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 two, four. Got you, guys. Super easy. All right, and that's the one that against male characters you can do one one instead of the down one two, but the down one two works on male characters as well. So I just always do that. Um, oh my god! Down one two one one <laughs> one two four. Super easy when you're not talking about it uh, and recording. Um, next is his one two three. You already saw this one. It's one one. Back three four. Got you, grab. That's kind of a standard ender for most of his combos. Uh, that actually does thirty nine percent. I missed one of my punches there, um, but thirty nine percent from there. It's the same ender as the back two. It's just the one 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 one. Back three four. Uh, oops. <laughs> Got you, grab. Okay, so next is his overhead mix up. So one, two, three is a low, all right? One, two, three, low into overhead, which is great. That makes it kind of difficult to block, but you know, high level players will be blocking that. They, they'll know to expect that, and then they know that after that comes, they should just always block high. Um, since, so what you want to do is if you do one, two overhead dash punch, you can get the same combo, just the one, one, back three, four, gotcha grab, and you only lose 3% damage. All right, so again, it's still unsafe, but it makes it, it's a mix up because they expect that low kick and instead you're hitting them with the uh, gotcha grab. Um, next is forward two, one. Um, it's the same as the others. It just starts with a forward two, one. It's like if you're, you know, say you're way back here or something, you need to get in. 
Like run, cancel, and a forward, two, one. Um, there, one, one, back three, four. Oh man, what is it? Got you, grab. Um, you know, again, 39%. These all do around that much damage. Um, and finally, his forward, two, one, two. Now this one doesn't do as much damage, but it is, it's only minus five on block, which I love. So it's just forward, two, one, two, down, one, two, one, 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 two, four. Oh my God. Uh, yep. There you go. So it's kind of, it has the same ender as his back three, four combo. It only does 33%, but again, it's almost entirely safe. Uh, so it's like against Molina, you pretty much have to use that or you'll eat a full combo punish. Um, next, let's go ahead and cover his mid-screen, um, meter combos, all right? In the corner, I don't really use meter. What you can do is meter burn the final gotcha grab for extra damage if you really want to, you know, do it. Um, that, that's your call. It just, it'll do a bit more damage and that's it. Um, mid-screen, to really get his damage, you have to use a bar of meter on his meter burn overhead, all right? And this one's really complicated. You have to practice it like crazy. On female characters, it's very hard, and it depends on your starter. Okay. Um, so let's see. From a naked, you hit him with a naked. Yep. Let's see if I can even do it. Here, I'll do this one first, just to show you the combo, and then you can practice the timing on like forward one, two into it, and, and other things. Against females, it's very difficult, but one, two is the easiest way to hit this combo, making it a great punisher, because that one is only six frames. Um, gotcha. So there's 38% um, one bar, and not only does it do great damage, but you see that corner carry, that's from mid-screen, all right? can do it there we go so now she's in the corner from mid screen um, so that's just a great uh, punisher if they use pretty much any move that leaves you within range of your one um, then you'll be able to punish it with that and that's also the easiest one to connect let's see yeah okay um, just testing something there um, so there's that. His other main one is the forward two one. And this one I don't really use um, a lot just because it does whiff so, it's very inconsistent, especially against female characters. Um, now, you know, I can probably get it, maybe. Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna waste your time trying to hit it. Just know that it, it can hit against female characters, but it's very inconsistent, so I don't really recommend it. Um, I have seen people better than me land it. It's just very, very tough, especially online. So if you do want to spend meter on a, a mid-screen combo, a mid-screen damage, just do it from one, two, where it's much easier to uh, <laughs> to connect. All right, um, next is his anti-air combos. Jax has great anti-air stuff. It's very hard to uh, to get it on him from the air. Um, so the first that everyone has trouble with, myself included, is um, dealing with jump overs. All right, so if someone is trying to like cross you up like that, um, you can standing one. Oh, oh my God. There you go. So it's that same combo from his meter burn, uh, the the one meter mid screen. It's just instead of falling off a forward, uh, the meter burn. What is it? Overhead punch. There you go. You got to be careful though. Um, it is following up that standing anti air. And now he does have other options because that the timing on it is a uh, a little wonky. There you go. So if you have trouble with that timing. You have other options. There you go. So that one is really easy and you only lose 5% damage. So it's just 1-1, one, 4-2-1, one, one, gotcha grab. It's crazy easy. The only problem is that sometimes it'll whiff like that. Uh, but as long as you think it'll hit, you can do it. Um, I do recommend learning the other version just because it's more consistent even though the timing is tighter. Oh my god. 
<laughs> anyway, I recommend learning that one um, just because if this one does whiff, you don't really get anything out of it. But, you know, just practice with them both, see which one works for you. Losing 5% damage isn't a huge deal, it just worries me that it does whiff sometimes. But if it whiffs less often than you drop that one, then I guess it's worth it. Um, next is anti with jump 3. Just dash punch, and literally just enter it as soon as the jump kick hits, and you'll automatically do it. Um, next if you jump kick with, um... Oh, right, okay. So, Jax, that's an anti air. If you ever do anti air with it, let's see if I can do it. Just 1 1, forward 2 1. Nice 28%. You have all the time in the world to do it. Super easy. Um, next is. Let's see, the standing one, if you do anti-air with a standing one from back here, you get that combo really easy. Which for some reason, I cannot do it right now. Timing is off or something. Um, so that's really easy. Let's see. Oh, and jump one. If you ever anti-air with jump one, you have all the time in the world for that. And this one is probably the most consistent way to hit that combo from a jump one is because they're so high in the air that you have you have all the time in the world to uh to combo all right and um just remember one thing actually i need to add to the guide is his uh in the corner here you know his overhead dash punch is very unsafe so you got to be careful if you do want an overhead option that works and it's just the same ender as his back two and his other stuff just um, 1-1, one, one, back 3-4, got you, grab. Um, and I do believe that's about it. There is actually one more thing, sorry. Um, so it's very hard to jump out of the corner on Jax, but if someone ever does jump out... Just... Um, one, run, cancel into a throw. Alright. And if you do it from there, you've got all the time in the world <laughs> to uh, meter burn it and then get your uh, your serious damage going. They have to eat a 50-50. So just run cancel into a throw. Gotcha. Alright, uh, so that covers Jax's combos. Um, Again, on each of those, usually you can get one more rep of 1-1, one, one, but it's usually for 1% more damage, and uh, it just makes the combo that much more likely to drop. So I just leave it out. I take the 1% less and just make it 100% consistent. So I hope that helps. You know, Feel free to post in the comments if you have any questions on timing or other issues, and I'll be happy to answer them. And again, check out the written guide for transcripts of all of these combos. All the combo notation, everything is written down at testyourmite.com and the link provided in this video. So thanks again.